Welcome back. We continue to highlight important inspirational stories across central Iowa during Hispanic Heritage Month. In tonight's Project Community, we're taking you to Marshalltown, where a new local leader is showing the importance of representation in many ways that matter. With confident steps and a strong sense of purpose, Melissa Fonseca feels confident in singing. This year, 2024, has been a really good year. And why wouldn't it be? I got my broker's license and then, you know, I was thinking it would be good to start my own business. And she did. This sign outside her shared office being proof enough. But instead of stopping there, the opportunity to run for council popped up and I did that as well and I won the election. Making Fonseca Marshalltown's fourth ward city council member and she says there's a twist. I think the one that I can own is Latina, which is the first female Latina, like Latinx person, female Latinx person elected. Fonseca says 33% of the Marshalltown community is Latinx. Much like with her day job, she is passionate about helping the people in her city. If, you know, there's a certain representation and inclusivity from the get-go and it and it's shown up there for once that um, hopefully it helps the community know that they are being represented. Represented, Fonseca says, in all ways that matter, age, gender, and ethnicity. We're 27,500 individuals here in Marshalltown, community members, and we all care about Marshalltown in our own way. That's what I think when I'm voting and reading the agenda and learning about how what, what all the information is for me to make an educated vote. Born and raised in Marshalltown, Fonseca loves her community. I trust this community and I know that there are aspects of it that may need some improvement. That's fine, but there is something here that is nowhere else and that's what makes Marshalltown super special. The people, all people in Marshalltown, who Fonseca is proud to serve. As for her being the first female Latinx person elected, something she does feel honored about. I hope that one day <laughs> when, you know, it doesn't become a big thing of being the first Latina, that it's just maybe one day it will just be a normal thing. And I think that it definitely starts from here on out. You can catch our special Project Community Reports celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month every Sunday on the KCCI 8 News at 10.